Hey everybody, this is Master Flame Man. This is Sabrina's gym. This is Sabrina. She has the vision. She knows. You've had second passion to her child. Start with the spoon you carried. I carried the toss bent. You dislike battling? I don't know why. If I had crazy psychic powers, I'd battle too, all the time. Uh, Sabrina's Pokemon consist of obviously psychic types. I think she has an Alakazam, which is the second one you've seen so far in the game. Uh, Pokemon are all really tough. Um, they will start out by trying to buff themselves up and then just slowly nu just nuke you. Just like I said, she, her Pokemon all have the potential to one-hit your team members if you have not drained up really heavily. Which I don't see Firefox really surviving through this Kadabra. Yeah, there's a nice chunk of attack. It's gonna use another big attack. Or not. This is gonna pass out. It's gonna pass out of the Maya to Firefox. Uh, we're gonna keep Firefox out, because Firefox is pretty much doomed to take that. Ooh, that's not good. To take that uh, future site, which unfortunately my turn is gonna have to take. Which is bad news, because Sand Slash already does not have super high special defense. See. Now, Mr. Mime is, in my opinion, one of the most defensive psychic type Pokemon you can have on the field. As you see, you know, she's uh, she's doing her bit of uh, buff, buff attack, buff, buff attack, Venomoth, which would be handled by Firefox typically, but Birdo has to take this one. We'll fly up high, and fly down low. That's going to result in a hyper potion being used, yes. That's bad news. I don't know if it's worse though. I don't know if it's worse that uh, Birdo was dealing more damage to itself than uh, that Venomoth was, or what? There we go. Alakazam. Now, Bumpy does have a weakness to Alakazam, obviously. Yeah, that's not how I planned that to go. There's a really good chance we actually might not beat this gym in the first round. Just like Ash did not. Oh wow, that does a lot of damage. Too bad, uh... Birdo has been knocked out now. I'm gonna try to confuse that Alakazam. Hopefully that is... Oh good. Oh good. I was extremely worried. Sabrina, yeah, Sabrina did exactly what I predicted her to do. She almost wrecked... Almost wrecked the team. It's... Sai Calm Mind, Calm Mind. Which is useless for me because obviously it is enough. Run out of the gym. The OEA says those little funky things, psychic power, huh? If I had that, I'd make a bundle with the slots. Yes, you would, because you're a gambling addict. So now I think we can use Surf outside of battle. Nope. Gotta beat Koga. Gotta beat Koga. Which I think, uh, combination of Birdie and Firefox, Birdie, Birdo and Firefox are going to be the uh, the key victors in that battle. So let's, uh, let's see here. Obviously Koga's gem is going to be difficult. Koga is a ninja by the way. I think actually, yeah, yeah, the sixth, the Marsh badge, we, that was the sixth badge. This is the fifth badge. Which means his Pokemon and their Pokemon are going to be a little bit lower level. Yeah, just a little bit. Well, I don't know. I think actually his Pokemon are slightly higher level. But, I don't know, they seem a little weaker. I don't seem to be having as much problems with them. Look at that, Firefox just like dominated. Um... Bumpy. I'm gonna show off strength a little bit. Strength. Oh, look at that. That was great. Yes, I had you fooled. I'm gonna get two gyms in one episode. That'd be cool. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Another juggler. Yeah, this gym's all about strategy, as he said. It is. You, you've gotta really know your stuff either, this gym. 
Another one kind of similar to Sabrina's. Lots of patience is required. Oh, fun fact number 510 about burn. Uh, whenever you have the burn status, your Pokemon will deal less damage and take slightly more damage. That's why it's always good. If you have a fire type Pokemon, try to get a burn in as fast as possible if you're not going to be able to one hit them. If you know that fire type Pokemon's going to pass out before the end of the round, then you're going to want to definitely try to inflict a burn and uh, help out with the next the next Pokemon that has to come out and fight. That way it's not just, you know, fire Pokemon pass out, fire Pokemon not leave a mark, you know, it's fire Pokemon leave burn, fire Pokemon deal heavy damage. See, and now there's nothing you can do. We're actually going to change over to something that can do a little more damage. Because Bumpy is, uh, is a boss. Psychic types. And it's funny that this is a, po a poison type gem and we've seen nothing but psychic types this entire time. I find that peculiar. Yes, yes, yes. Nobody cares, Mr. Douglas. You there. Ah, finally, a tamer. And yes, I'm gonna stick with my plan of disabilitate and status effect and there we go. You enjoy the robot. See, at least whenever I don't get to move, I don't have to hurt myself. Oh, well now it doesn't really matter. See, Firefox is definitely able to carry its own weight now. Look at that. Nothing. Nothing. This gym is definitely not as hard as Koga's. I'm almost saddened by or Koga's. It's as hard as Sabrina's, which I'm kind of saddened by that. I halfway expected Koga to be a little tougher than Sabrina. Here's that strategy part they were talking about. See what I mean? Like, you know, like that means I have to walk all the way back to the Pokemon Center. To where I being stubborn, I would just, you know, wouldn't walk to the Pokemon Center and be done with it. Just be like, whatever. Okay. You. Invisible walls. Yes, you have invisible walls, but, uh, I have wisdom. Actually, this is another battle that can be won by with smarts. Will o wisp. Confused, right? Not very effective flamethrower. Oh, typically effective fan. Flamethrower, then never mind. Arbok. We're going to actually try to get Arbok off that field really fast. Because Arbok can deal out status effects. They disabilitate. Or annoy. And yes, Birdo still knows quick attack because it's helpful. And chipping away those last little bits of damage. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and heal Birdo up. There we go. I descended from great Pokemon trainers from long ago. Actually, I descended from an old 8-bit game that forced me to wear a turban. But that's another story! But how'd you already... whatever. You snap out of confusion on me. Snappy snappy. Um, Hypno. Mauser. Mauser can, uh, Hypno a Hypno. We can dominate. There, see, look at that domination again. This gym is definitely not as bad as Sabrina's was. I was expecting much more opposition out of this gym than it was. It is giving. So that is not so bad. This is, that is actually definitely not so bad. I think Koga will be taken out this round. As long as his muck doesn't cause too many problems, or his wheezing doesn't self-destruct randomly. Yes, poison brings doom, sleep makes it where you can just pound on my Pokemon into sleep. That's okay, that's not gonna happen. I will not allow that to happen at all, actually. You're gonna do what you wanted to do. Disabilitate and... Damage. Look at that. Mug already? 
I was actually not expecting that. Bring out my answer from up right now. Oh, that's just fabulous. Now, toxic, you see, it shows the regular poison thing. It should show, like, poison with little crossheads on it, or a little cross skull and crossbones, because it deals more damage every turn, as you can tell. Oh, well, Nitrum can handle this, actually. Oh my gosh, Koga, you're using a lot of uh, potions there, buddy. As long as this muck doesn't use acid armor, I think it'll be okay. Oh, come on, there we go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That was actually the biggest worry of this gym. He's at a, like I said, he has a wheezing too. His wheezing knows self-destruct or explosion, and it is not scared in the slightest to use it. He doesn't just randomly use it either. He'll try to weaken your Pokemon up a little bit. And... Let's... Come on, let's see it. Oh, you can't badly poison me, that means though. I was waiting on that self destruct. I really was. I'm kind of disappointed in you, Koga. That's okay though. Firefox can take you out. Oh, isn't that funny? That's one of the great things about status effects. That little lasting effect. Get that uh, little push of damage to the end. And there goes Koga. So, Sabrina and Koga both taken out, which now lets us use Surf outside of battle. See? That is toxic. It has always been TM6. Like, forever. Like, I think it's actually been TM6 since, uh, since the beginning, yeah. Since, like, Red and Blue. Which is exciting. It made me happy. Right now, Toxic is going to be taught to Bumpy. Who will forget Poison Powder. Yeah, almost everything can learn Toxic. Which makes Toxic an even more potent attack. Because Pokemon that don't look like they would use a Poison type attack can throw a Toxic up in the air out of nowhere and really throw off your game. Like a Pidgeot with Toxic? That would be nasty throw toxic on that thing then you can fly constantly to get the uh, extra added effect of the toxic in and it would be it would be working very well so we've already got six badges I don't think we're doing too bad at all yes we're gonna heal thank you thank you now there's two different ways we can go down to Fusha City we can go down to Fusha City not Fusha oh my gosh uh, Cinnabar Cinnabar Island we can go this way, which will probably take like three episodes to get through things to that mess. Articuno is also in that mess, and up to here is Zapdos. And up here is not Moltres. Moltres is over here in the island, in the Sevi Islands. But you go down here through Pallet Town, it's an easier way. I'm probably going to take the way through Pallet Town because I don't feel like messing with all this junk. Because there's, there's a lot of trainers in there. Lots of random counters with water Pokemon, which Mauser's probably gonna love this part. Mauser and Bumpy are gonna know, really dig this, <clears throat> dig this part. And I think uh, I think I should trip to Celad or yeah, Celadon, and I'm gonna hit some time with the slots and get Earthquake. No wait, that's not how you get Earthquake. Anyway, I'm gonna hit some time with the slots and get some Uber attacks because uh, I have some Pokemon that need to learn some new things. But uh, so we're gonna go ahead and fly to Pallet. We're gonna visit mom. I haven't seen mom in a long time. Hey mom, how you doing? Yeah, yeah. I should take a quick rest. You should take a quick rest. Oh, they are looking great, aren't they? Yeah, cool, thanks. Okay. Let me just go down here. Can you surf? Tangler can be caught in that patch of grass. They're a pretty cool Pokemon to have. If you didn't start out with Bulbasaur. Anyway. So, till next time guys, we're gonna happy spin dance. Get into a Ryan Pokemon battle. And I'm gonna leave it off here. So we'll see you later guys.